All right, so in this question, it says they are given us a figure in which some of the area is shaded and the rest is not. So it says the diagram shows a circle with radius r centimeter and center O. Points A and B lie on the circle. A, B, C, D is a rectangle. This A, B, A, B, C, D is a rectangle. Angle A, O, B is two theta radians and A, D is r centimeter. First part is express the perimeter of the shaded region in terms of r and theta. So perimeter is what? Perimeter is basically the sum of all sides. Okay, so they are asking us to find the perimeter of the shaded region. So this all shaded region consists of A, D, D, C, C, B and the arc length A, B. So we can write this as A, D plus D, C plus C, B plus arc length A, B. So A, D is R, B, C is also R because it's a rectangle and we don't know what D, C is. We can find the arc length AB by using the formula R theta. But we don't know what DC is. So let's try the terms that we already know of. So AD is R, we don't know DC, I'll add it as, as this, plus R plus arc length, which is R theta. And theta in this case is the angle from uh, which is making the arc, and the angle in this case, which is making the arc, is 2 theta. Right, we have to write this in terms of R and theta, but we don't know what DC is. So, as you can see, DC will be equal to AB in this case. Now, if I draw the segment OAB, I'm drawing the segment this is OA. B, this right here is 2 theta. This is R and this is R. I need to find AB. So, one thing is it's for sure that this OAB triangle is an associated triangle, right? So, these two angles will be equal. And if I draw the line, a line from O to its base AB, it will directly cut the base AB at its center. And it will also divide the angle into two equal parts. So this is our theta and this is our theta, right? And this theta plus theta gives us two theta. Now I need to find AB. Now AB is twice that of AM. So AM is, is pretty simple. If I use sine of theta equals to AM, which is our opposite side over hypotenuse, which is our R, so I'll get AM. So AM is R sine theta, right? Hence, AB will be twice that of AM. So, AB will be 2R sine theta, which is DC, which is equal to DC. So, we can put DC, 2R sine theta in this here, right? Now, there is also another way of finding the line AB, right? So, we can see that if I take this triangle as a whole, if I take this triangle like this, A, O, and B, right? A, O and B. Let's say this is 2 theta. This is R and this is R. I need to find the side AB. I can use the cosine law here or cosine rule. So cosine rule says that if you take the square of the side which is opposite to your reference angle, for example AB squared, that will equal to the sum of the two other sides AO squared plus BO squared minus 2 times the, the two sides AO, BE into cosine of the angle between the two sides, this is 2 theta. So if I solve this, this is r squared, this is r squared, this is r and r, and angle is of course 2 theta. I get ab equals to, this was ab squared, so ab equals to 2r two squared minus 2r squared cos 2 theta whole under root. If I take r square as common here, I'll get 2 minus 2 cos 2 theta, right? So this is r squared under root into under root 2 minus 2 cos 2 theta. So this will cancel out this. So ab will be 
given to me as in the simplest form r under root 2 minus 2 cos 2 theta. So AB is this r minus r under root 2 minus 2 cos theta or AB is this 2 r sin theta. We can use both of them, right? We'll get the correct answer. So back to finding the perimeter. Perimeter was r plus dc plus r plus r2 theta and dc equals to ab. So perimeter is r plus dc. If I take dc as 2r sin theta plus r plus 2r theta, perimeter is 2r plus 2r sin theta plus 2r theta. Either this is a perimeter. Or if I take DC as R under root 2 minus 2 cos theta plus R plus 2 R theta, this will give us 2 R plus R under root 2 minus 2 cos theta plus 2 r theta. All right. Both of the answers are correct. Now moving on to part two. It says, in the case where r equals 5 and theta equals to pi by 6, find the area of the shaded region. Now this is our shaded region. Now let's think a little bit. How can we actually find the area of this shaded region? Now this shaded region, what if I find the area of this segment AOB? Then I subtract the area of this segment AOB from the area of the triangle AOB. I'll get area of this part. Let's call this part X. Let's call this part X. I'll get the area of this part X. Now if I subtract the area of this part x from the area of the rectangle A, B, C, D, I'll get the area of the shaded region, right? So, moving on. This is our diagram, this is part 2. This is O, A, B, C, D, X is right here, region X, right, this is our angle 2 theta, this is R, this is R, and this is R, and this thing, DC is 2R sin theta, or R, under root 2 minus 2 cos theta. I will be using 2 r sin theta for simplicity because r under 2 minus 2 cos theta is a very complex term than 2 r sin theta. So I will use 2 r sin theta. Right? So moving on. Area. We know that r is 5. So given r is 5 and theta to be taken as 5 by 6. So shaded area is area of triangle A, B, C, D subtracted from area of X. Now finding area of triangle A, B, C, D is fairly easy. Finding the area of X is, quite, is a little bit complex. So finding the area of X area of X, right? This is area this will equal to area of segment AOB separated from area of triangle AOB. So area of segment, if the angle of the segment is the radius, we use the formula half r square theta. 
So half into r into r into theta here in this case is 2 theta the angle in this segment minus area of triangle. So for area of triangle I'll use the formula half into side 1 into side 2 into, side of the, into the sine of the angle between the sides. So half into side 1 into side 2 into sine of the angle between the sides which is 2 theta in this case. So if I put theta equals to 5 or 6 and r equals to 5, I'll get 1 by 2 into 5 into 5 into 2 5 by 6 minus 1 by 2 into 5 into 5 into sine of 2 5 by 6. If I compute this, I'll get 2.264. Now back to finding uh, area of the shaded region. So shaded area was area of rectangle subtracted from the area of the region X. So area of the region X in this case is 2.264, 2.264 and area of the triangle will be AD times DC. AD is 5 which is R into DC I'll take DC 2 R sine theta. So 2R is 5, sine theta is 5 by 6, right? Minus 2.264, our answer is 22.736 squared centimeters. This is the area of this region.